guys, it's Presley, and as you can tell by the title of this video and the few clips you saw in the, at the beginning of the video, I went to a Nickelback concert, and this is actually the first ever concert that I've ever been to. Unless, you can, unless I count the Wiggles concert that I went to when I was like four years old, but I'm not counting that. I'm talking about those, those big boys and girls concerts, you know, that adults go to. This was Nickelback, and I've heard that some people, like, I've seen, like, reviews or whatever, people don't like Nickelback, but I do. I love Nickelback. I'm not rating my opinion on other people's opinion, because this is my opinion, and I love Nickelback, so you haters can suck it. And and no matter if anyone, ha if anyone hates Nickelback, there were so many people at this concert. So many people, and we were at the very back. Me and my family were at the very back, and it was outside too. I honestly thought the concert was going to be inside or something like that, but no, nope, we were outside. And um, I I came prepared because since it's going to be a concert, things are going to get loud, I bought these noise-canceling headphones, not music headphones. Um, my little brother asked, why am I, get, why am I bringing this? Why am I bringing these headphones if I'm just going to, I don't know. He said something about it, and I am and I brought it because I can be sensitive to loud noise. Even with these noise-canceling headphones, even if I put these headphone, headphones on, I can still hear the concert. But I realized that after listening to the Nickelback concert, and we were so far away, like we were in the back, I realized I didn't need these that much. I did use them for a little bit, but then I realized I didn't need them as bad. So, we had to wait for a little while um, until the Nickelback concert started. So, we were just talking and blah, blah. And I noticed, like, a weird smell lingering around the area. But I didn't mind too much about it until my mom said, Hey, do you know what that smell is? And I said, No, what is it? And she said, It's pot. It's weed. And then later on, after a couple of days after the concert, I, was, I didn't ask her at the con this question at the concert. I asked her just several days ago. I asked her, how do you know what pot smells like? And she said, I've been to a lot of concerts. And another question I might be asking, how in the hell are people able to linger around pot? Don't you have to go through like some sort of security check? How are people bringing in pot and then smoking it in a concert? How are they doing? Do they just hide it in a secret little pocket and then just do and then do pot? How do they do? that honestly the smell of pot I did I smelled it for a little while but then I realized I mean it's not the worst smell in the world but if it like if I smell it for too long then I'll get a little annoyed kind of like cigarette smoke. I can get a little annoyed with cigarette smoke. I can handle it for a little while but then but then after a few seconds or a good long minute, then I can kind of get annoyed with it. And then the concert started and everybody was pumped. I was pumped too. I was ready for them to start. They played some pretty good songs. I'm not a huge fan of their new songs. I prefer their old ones. That's why I put the old songs on my Spotify playlist and stuff like that. And out of nowhere, um, one of the guys, um, shit. Yeah, one of the singers, lead singers, um, was talking about how he wrote the song Far Away um, in a Dallas parking lot. That was pretty interesting fun fact. And then another, and then he started bringing up on how he's get how he keeps, he and a bunch of other band members getting onslaught of panties and bras. And I'm like, seriously? Jeez, a lot of, a lot of people really like to throw throw things at at singers or any or things like that if you're famous I never I can never realize how many onslaught of panties and bras people can throw on stage good lord <laughs> and then he start, and then one of the lead singers started showing up this huge pink bra out of nowhere I saw on one of those big screens since we were so far behind, we, we were so in the back, we couldn't see the actual concert. We just saw big screens as well. There were some big screens too for some people who couldn't see. People, so many people were in the way. I really wanted to film some of it for the concert. I wanted to fil get the whole filmage to see 
to let you see my experience, what I went through through that concert. But so many people were blocking the way. I'm like, good Lord. And then um, when one of the songs came, I th I'm not, I think it was Far Away. The, they were playing the song Far Away. And um, someone came up right next to me, put wrapped his arm around me and started singing to the lyrics. And I thought it was my older brother. But it, I looked to my shoulder, to my right. And I was like, and then I realized it was just some random dude. And he was like, oh, oh, I'm sorry. I just thought you were by yourself. I really love Nickelback and stuff like that. It was fun, though, to get, you know, jam with you. And I'm thinking, uh, okay. That was so weird. I, I could have sworn it was my older brother because... He looked like the same height, and I couldn't see that much because it was dark. And I mean, they had some spotlights and stuff like that, but I still couldn't tell. I mean, it was still pretty dark, and he was just right next to me. I was like, oh, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> I was thinking that. I didn't actually say that. I mean, I wouldn't want to be rude to the guy, but he seemed pretty chill. I'm hoping he's not drunk because <laughs> they got a beer. They got a. They got a concession stand with beers and stuff like that so this is pretty much an adult an adult concert if you want to if you think about it too much if you think about it real hard and then after a while we got really into it we got real into it and then after the concert ended we went back to our hotel and the hotel we went to was really, really, was really, it was different, but I really liked it. I really liked that hotel. My younger brother didn't like it so much. He always, he keeps saying the word, oh, it's so zesty and weird. And he keeps saying that word. I, I may sound like a boomer in this video for just for a short minute. He keeps saying that word and I keep asking him, bro, what are you talking about? What does that even mean? And he said, the more you hear it, the more you'll understand what it means. And... At first, I thought that I thought that word meant like I thought that word meant about about guy about guys doing like some we some feminine stuff or whatever that that other guys may find weird. I don't know what he he was do what he was talking about when he said zesty. I may keep up with some slang terms like gas, but zesty no. At least my older brother can explain what the word gas means. It means really cool, by the way, if you want to say the word gas. But zesty, I'm like, what are you talking about? And he can't explain it. The worst part is when he can't explain it. He said, figure out for yourself. I can be pretty slow when it comes to figuring out what slang terms mean. I can be pretty much slow. A little slow when it comes to figuring out some things, but then after a while I start to get it. Kind of like understanding jokes and sarcasm. It takes me a while to understand. I'm getting better at understanding sarcasm, by the way. But still not perfect. Still not perfect. And anyway, after the concert, we spend the night at the hotel and then we came back home. And the whole concert will forever be engraved in my mind as my first ever concert. And I had fun. My I had fun. My brothers had fun. My mom had fun. My cousins. A lot of people had fun. I can tell a lot of people were screaming. Some of them were singing to the lyrics. I, I sang to some of the lyrics, but not, not, I didn't remember a whole bunch of lyrics. I know, how can I be a fan of Nickelback if I don't know a whole lot of the song lyrics? Give me a break, all right? I remember when I was a... I didn't get into Nickelback until um, I was like a freshman in high school. I didn't get to rock, get into rock music in general until I was like a freshman in high school. Until my world geography teacher just ends up playing some Breaking Benjamin music. And I really liked it. And then I added some of those songs that he was playing on his little his phone onto my Spotify playlist in the future. And then I started listening to Nickelback for the first time on Spotify. And I was like, hey, this is pretty good. So that started my whole journey of really liking rock music. It's not my, I, I'm not sure. I think it is my favorite genre, but Nickelback is my favorite rock band in particular. Not my favorite band in the world, not my favorite singers in the world. My favorite rock band. 
My mom always gets this confused saying that, oh, it's her favorite band. And I keep on correcting her. Rock band, mom. <laughs> there are other great singers and bands out there, but Nickelback is just one of my favorites. And I, and I really enjoyed it. And then one of the lead singers ends up um, exclaiming to the whole concert, fuck, I love Dallas. <laughs> I like the whole little stories they were, they were talking about um, before they started playing that other songs. He started exclaiming some fun facts and interesting stuff about songs he wrote and other tour concerts. But I have a feeling that the Nickelback crew really loved Dallas. I don't blame them. I love Dallas too, but I don't live there. I go to, I visit Dallas every once in a while and it's fun. Concert, fantastic. Everything was fun. I'm hoping whatever concert I might go to next, I'm still, still might bring these headphones just in case if it's going to be an indoor concert or an outdoor concert, wherever. You never know. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe. All that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.